One of the biggest new features inside of After Effects CS5 is the new 64-bit performance. Uh, by going fully 64-bit inside of After Effects, the performance is improved in so many different ways. One of the biggest things that's improved is the ability to RAM preview longer uh, parts of your composition in one pass, so that you don't have to break it up into segments in order to preview a longer composition in real time. I'm going to go ahead and select this composition and just start RAM previewing it right now. This is about a 30 second composition and I have 8 gigs of RAM on my system. A lot of people who work with After Effects on a regular basis will have uh, 16 gigs or more on a system and After Effects CS5 will take full advantage of that. So with 8 gigabytes of RAM this particular composition is 1920 by 1080. This is actually working with uh, AVC intra footage and you can see that I'm getting roughly about 28 seconds worth of a RAM preview at full 1920 by 1080 resolution. Full frame rate, full uh, resolution in the shot. Now other areas that you're going to see improvement in After Effects due to the new 64-bit capability, um, you can actually now handle uh, uh, when you render your video, thanks to the fact that you'll have larger caches to work with, um, larger RAM caches can hold intermediate content so that the final render will actually happen much, much more quickly. Another area to explore with After Effects CS5 is the fact that since you now have the ability to work with more RAM and RAM preview longer compositions, you can also start to work in higher color bit depth. Right now, I'm working in 8-bit color. But let's say I want to work in something more like 32-bit floating point color. One of the disadvantages in past versions of After Effects is when you switch to a higher color bit depth, again, uh, 24 bits or 32 bits per color um, is four times the information, so that obviously cuts down on the length of time that you can RAM preview. In CS4 and earlier, you're pretty much at, a, at this type of resolution, you're limited to maybe a second or two of uh, RAM previewing at full 32 bits per channel. Now, inside of After Effects CS5, let me go ahead and come in here and I'm going to select and change this to 32 bit color. And I've already gone through and I've applied an exposure control here that boosts the exposure way up above 1, which pushes it into that 32-bit color space. And then we're going to go ahead and lower it back down again, just to get a slightly different look to our video here. But you notice that working in 32-bit color, um, I can push things way up, blow things way out, and then bring them back down again without a loss in detail. If I switch this comp over to 8 bits per channel, you can see the effect immediately. As we push over the one marker, things are starting to clip and we're losing the detail, like for example the mountains in the background here. So that's one of the advantages of working with 32-bit color. Now, working with 32-bit color, again, RAM previewing something like this would take... Uh, uh, typically we could only get maybe a second or two in earlier versions of After Effects. But thanks to the new 64-bit capability in After Effects CS5, we can now RAM preview. Pretty much this will take advantage of however much RAM you have in the system. So in the case of my system here running with about 8 gigabytes of RAM, I can still preview this past the run, past the explosion in the shot, again at full frame rate, uh, at full resolution so that I can see what's going on. So we're easily going up to about eight, uh, 8 seconds here in my preview. So these are just a couple of examples of what happens when you move to a full 64-bit workflow inside of After Effects. Faster rendering, longer RAM previews, and working in 32-bit color becomes a lot more usable, uh, a lot easier to use because you can preview longer RAM previews.